What is going on, Adventure Nation? In this episode, you know what? You guys have been complaining that I haven't had my helper in for a while. Let me see. <sighs> wow, I can't believe it worked. In this episode, we're going to talk more about Los Brillos, of course, because we spent seven months there. And in this episode, again, in, on, and around the water, this is the Motorhome Experiment. <music> I don't know, for about a week or so, Kevin and I got an obsession with going out and chasing mobiles around out in the afternoons because they were jumping every single day. They always get an obsession about something. That week happened to be the mobiles, and probably the week before was something else. So. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but there's just something really cool about being out there in the water and having them yes. all around you. And it's, it's for somebody who's a land lover like, like we are, it's, it's a little terrifying as well because you, you know you can't see what's underneath you and that's the weird that's the weird feeling but yeah. they're right there on the surface it's pretty cool yes i don't think it's this video or i don't think we video at all but we went one time in the paddle board and i was able to put the mask and just put my face in the water and just see them and they look amazing but yeah it's so deep yeah it's intimidating mm -hmm. okay kevin and i are out here once more chasing mobilis and they're right here in front of me. I can see the tips of them coming out of the water. About 20, 30 yards out. Dude, you gotta be right on top of it. Do you see them underneath you? And I don't know if it's mobiles or if it's fish, but it's gotta be mobiles, right? Oh, that one right there. There's a couple, they're pretty close. <laughs> We're gonna get video of a mobile jumping on top of Kevin. They are all around us. All you can see is the tips. Look at right here. They look like little mini sharks. Oh my goodness, dude, look at that. That is incredible. Oh, dude. Just look, look down, dude, and you'll see him down underneath now. Holy smokes. Now I wonder if I, oh my goodness, dude, there are literally hundreds down here. I wonder if this will work. They're going in between us. Look at the freaking sky out here. It is insane. Another amazing desert sunset to end a day. An amazing day. Oh, by the way, happy 14th anniversary, baby. 14 years she's put up with me. She deserves a medal. It is our last five days here in Los Barillas. I have literally filmed nothing. Just been kiting, hanging out, that's it. But uh, all these boards here, these are gonna have to go back to Alan. That's Alan's uh, surfboard, surfboard, and a twin tip. And uh, this is Kevin's board here. It's one of my new boards, my other board. And then the kite garage is getting torn apart here. I don't even know if I showed it when it was all together, but we've got our board gear in here, our wetsuits and stuff. Snorkel gear is over, where? Somewhere over here, there. Hard to do this on the camera. Uh, we still have bars hanging and things like that, and some kites and stuff in the back that uh, we're slowly tearing down but this is where we had all our boards kevin and i made that with a jigsaw and some two by fours and obviously some doweling kind of just slammed it together without any directions or instructions or anything we just kind of threw it together so i don't know if alan's gonna like the epic kiteboarding thing because him and his brother are slingshot guys but i'm sure they can tear that off alan uh, the guy who lent me all his boards is going to take this and keep it at his house in case when we come back we can use it or He's got a new board rack, so works out for everybody. So time to get all this stuff loaded up and, or tore down and loaded up and whatever.
I honestly didn't realize how many crazy faces I make <laughs> when I'm doing stuff. And this portion, I I finally got comfortable enough holding a camera while I was out on the, the kite board. So I went and shot video out there, but man, I made some weird faces. Yeah, I cannot see you when you're out there, but yeah, sometimes even when you're getting yourself ready to it, you're just kind of like, you have your little tongue on the side doing your thing yes that's exactly yes. what i was doing on the kite board oh i can't believe i'm going to show you guys this check it out All right, I haven't been recording much as far as the kiting goes, but now I'm a little bit more confident, so we're gonna take a GoPro out on the water and see what happens.
just south of Los Barillas, kind of in between Los Barillas and La Ribera, is a little, little kind of, I guess it's a mountain, it's a hill really called Flat Top. And we'd heard a lot of people talk about hiking to Flat Top and they do the, the sunrises and sunsets and stuff from there. I guess the moonrises. A lot moon of people do it, the moonrises there. You know, the exotic moonrise every month. That is, there's always some sort of super moon, pig moon, uh, I don't know, blood moon. There's something, some sort of moon. Everybody goes that day. Well, not everybody. A lot of people go that day and hike this mountain. And it's an easy hike. It's not a harsh uh, hike to yeah, do. Yeah, 30, 40 minutes. Such a beautiful view from there. So highly recommend it if you're in that area. Yeah, so this is a quick look from up top of Flat Top Mountain. So down here, this is the trail that we came up. It's way around through here. And then we came up around the end, up over to there. And then... This is our view. This is the payoff. This is the reward for hiking up onto Flat Top. An absolutely spectacular view of the Sea of Cortez. Down in here is La Ribera and the new Four Seasons Resort. And down here, that over in there, somewhere over in there, is Los Barillas. Absolutely spectacular up here. A lot of people come up here to do the full moon rise once a month. They hike up here and then watch the moon and it rises up over in that area there. Sun also comes up in that area. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Oh yeah, the car is uh yeah, you can probably see that special car down there somewhere. Alright. Let's get out of here. talking to the voices in his head. When you're into sports of any kind, there's always those uh, great days and then there's those epic days. And when it comes to wind sports, that's, that's the case. And at North Beach, there are days when the wind is good and there are days when the wind is epic. And I caught a day when the wind was epic and I come off the water, grab my camera, and, and film some of the guys that really know what they're doing, doing their thing, so that was super cool. I don't know why we waited to go to, uh, I guess some people call it Shell Beach, some people call it Snorkel Beach, but it's just north of Los Barillas near. I think it's neither, it has actually a totally different name, but that's how the locals or the people around call it. Right, yeah. right. And it's just north of Los Barillas at Hotel Pescadero, and it's just kind of just south of Hotel Pescadero. Just, you can totally see the hotel from there, Punta Pescadero, because there is so right, other right. ones. It's Punta Pescadero, just right south of it. And I will say it has been one of the best snorkeling spots we have been in the Baja. It was that tiny spot, I think because it's so sheltered and many people don't go there. 
the coral was so amazing yeah. and the fish were so amazing it, it was just so cool and the worst part of it is i tried to use a new gopro head mount on my snorkel rig and it kind of sucked so i didn't <laughs> capture all of it what i did learn from this is I am best off using a handheld GoPro rig when I'm gonna film this stuff because a lot of it was in the water, out of the water, but I was able to catch a little bit of the reef and things like that. And the water was super clear. It just kills me that when I get back and I see this kind of stuff that I could have gotten it better. We are a couple of days from leaving Los Barillas and we finally made it out here to Shell Beach. It's a remote beach about 10 miles or so north of Los Barillas. That's Hotel Pescadero up in there. And this is Shell Beach. It is spectacular. It is a very popular hangout spot and snorkeling spot. So we're gonna go get our snorkel on. Having trouble getting your snorkel gear on? Yeah, then I'm going to put the mask, and once I get in, I put the fence in. There you go. As you guys can see, we kind of like Los Barillas and we are almost done, not quite, but we are almost done with Southern Baja at this point. Mm -hmm. We were getting ready to, to roll out and some other stuff happened and we may have a few more things to show you, but sooner or later, I promise you guys, sooner or later, we're gonna make it back to the US and get traveling up there. Well, but right now we're in the US already, so we well, made yeah, it Well, yeah, we're in the US, but... we made it back, but we're still there, <laughs> so yes, we're uh, back to the future. Yes but we will have more in upcoming videos. If this is your first time here, it would be awesome if you hung out with us a little bit, got to know us, and that means they have to... Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It'd be equally as cool if you liked the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. I don't know my lines anymore. I haven't well, been see, that's why people for want, so long. People wanted you back. They, were, they knew I wasn't doing it right. Just to say the word. Yeah, they just they just want to hear you just do that last little thing, and it's, I'm sure it's more than that. But that's that's part of it. That's definitely <laughs> part of it. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.